Okay, I think I'm live. Let's make sure everything's working, everybody. This is the Celebrations Collection keychain, by the way, if you use my code, the chowing down on candy, Steve. It just happens to be on my desk. Hi, everybody. Let's make sure this works. Throw emojis in the chat if you can see me and hear me okay, so that I know everything is working, because that's how we do. Anyhow, um, hi everybody. I'm just checking to make sure everything is working all right. Whoops. Yes, I'm singing the Andy Griffith song. All right, let's head into it. Make sure everything is alive and well. All right, hello, hello everybody. All right, so, you just finished it because you couldn't put it down? Awesome, hi everybody. Good, you guys can hear me, it's all working. So we are going to be playing out the week of December 30th through January 5th. I have not done anything in this planner yet. I mean, I don't know what I'm actually gonna do to quote unquote set it up. I told you guys before doing the, the pain tracking was not working for me, not because like it was working, but I'm at the point now where I'm taking painkillers almost every single night. So just having a big like expanse of, yes, you've taken painkillers. It's not tracking anything special for me because nothing's changing and it's depressing. So I stopped doing that. So I don't know what I'm gonna actually do besides meal planning and doing weekly stuff. So I may not set up this planner because I just, I don't know what else to do in it. But I haven't done my monthly meal planning yet, however, but I will mention a little bit today what I think I'm gonna do for my meal planning challenge, because I'm gonna do another one of those in 2020. And I think my husband and I have worked out what we want it to be. And I will also, um, yeah. So, okay, if you're looking for the book club, because I saw somebody in here is still trying to figure it out, the information is actually in the description. It's Good Morning, Good Life by Amy Landino, and the live streams are on Saturdays in my Facebook group. Um, so vertical is what I'm doing, and I did a video with my new pet planner set up for 2020 talking about kind of why I swapped it, but as like a quick overview, it's because... I really was feeling the urge to try something besides the horizontal and every planner I was looking at was vertical style, but there was something about the planner I didn't like, whether it was the binding or all of the excess shit in it or whatever the case may be. And so I was like, well, why not just do the same planner I've been using just in the vertical style? So that's what we're gonna give a try. And I'm gonna give myself at least three months in it to see if it's gonna work for me. But I have not planned this way in years, 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 years. Hourly and and horizontal have been like my main my main bitches since the 2014 or something. Okay, and I have rosé, by the way, I'm drinking rosé. All right, anyway, so what are we doing today? Monchelle actually gave me the idea last week. I need my planner to work and Plan As You Go actually starts on Wednesday and I will explain kind of how that's gonna work during this stream as well. But uh, one of my patrons, Monchelle said that when I was talking about what I wanted to do, I wanted to do something in this planner that was gonna be fun for the stream, but was gonna make it still usable because when I like fuck my planner up royally and one of my like wheel of fuckery or whatever planner uh, live plan with me's, I can't really use it and I need to use it. I need to see if this works for me. So her suggestion was to take the the celebrations collection from this year of New Year's and use all of the stickers on this sheet, which for me is going to be rough because there's a lot of doodles and I don't usually use a ton of doodle stickers. I also have the kit that goes with it, but I don't have to use all of these stickers, just all of the ones on this sheet. And then I also have some washi tapes to use with this as well. And I was thinking about this and like, what the fuck am I going to do? I haven't, I haven't used a planner like this in so long. I don't even know where to start. So let me grab my whiteout. I'll probably need that too. Yes, you gave an idea. Woo! -hoo! Um so this is the Aaron Conran vertical planner. 2020 neutral. Where did my tissue go? My nose is still running because I'm still on the tail end of being sick. Uh okay. Um, and if anybody's having trouble with the video, have them like refresh their screen or like close out and come back into it. That's what seems to usually work. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. I also have Gorby over here for 
you know, planning purposes. I have rosé. I have my pens. I think today I'm going to be using the uh, Pigeon Let Letters Monoliner in, maybe I'll do 01. Let's do 01. Where's my 01? Where, wait the fuck. Oh, there it is. My Pigeon Letters, I've been really loving these monoliners. The stuff wears off the side super fast in 01. And then for the stickers, I have the Sakura Microperm 03. I've got my Artist Loft palette knife for cutting washi tape, and I think we are good to go. Hi, Kristen. Part of the other reason I'm doing this is because Kristen was like, you never use the Celebrations collection. Well, I'm going to fucking use it today, Kristen. So here we go. This is the 2019 one. The, the new one, the 2020 one, is currently on sale. And if you didn't know, part of the reason that I love talking about it is because I'm the one who does the doodles and the lettering for Kristen. I work with Kristen at Christiane Designs often, but the Celebrations collection is like a special full binder of like a year's worth of stickers um, that we do as a collaboration every year. And this was this current year's one, but um, the new ones are out. So anyway, you have a question, Christine? Am I doing a live plan with me every Sunday this month? Yes, I am. And I will talk about that as I talk about plan as you go and how it's going to work this month. Drinking my rosé. The new ones might actually sell out. Holy shit, Kristen. You tried the vertical for 3.2 seconds and you didn't like it? Okay, no, I'm not doing a live daily. I'm gonna do, okay, I'll explain that, but let's get, I have to start this. I can't get distracted. I'll start this and I'll talk about plan as you go. So I need to put some washi tape down and I've got the date covers in here. So maybe... The way to start it would be to just do across the top, question mark. I don't, I don't like this. I do not like this. This is some useless bullshit for my sensibilities. Do I want to do washi tape across the bottom or across the top? Like this thing, these, these puppies. Do I want to do these across the bottom? Maybe across the bottom because that'll cover up this calendar, which I also don't give a two fucks about. I don't give two fucks. Zero fucks. Tell I, us how you really feel. Shut up, Jesse. Sassafras little motherfucker over there playing his video games thinking he knows how to how to how to talk to a how to talk to a woman. <laughs> I think I'm going to I'm figuring it out, Pamela, but I think I want to cover this bottom area up and then we'll figure it out. We'll we'll figure this out. It's going to be going to be a learning process and like I said I'll be doing live plan with me this whole month so let me talk about that so I can kind of clue you guys in on what my what my plans are for plan as you go because I'm going to be that did not work okay hold on I don't hate hexagons in general I hate that there's this random blob of color in the middle of my neutral planner like that's just it's like what the fuck what in the actual neutral fuck all right, that did not work either. It was like the right level, but it wasn't like, fuck. <sighs> years and years ago, Nami, years and years ago. Okay. So they said happy birthday to you, Jess. His birthday was earlier this week, and I still don't remember how old he is. He is 33. Yes! <laughs> I'm a good wife. It's not how I want to put it down either. I'm trying this again. Kristen, thank you for changing to reusable paper because obviously I need it. <laughs> okay, there, there, that's how I want it. Now I'm gonna white out the December 2019. No, I'm not gonna white that out. Yes, I am gonna white that out because I know I don't need it. I know it's December 2019. I know what day it is. Something very satisfying about hearing. Oh, no, 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 no. Not on top of the washi tape. Okay. There we go. That's one. Now we'll do the other side. Am I going vertical for 2020? No, Kristen. I'm just doing this for the fun. Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> the planner's trying to mansplain the date to me. Yes, because my is my planner. You know, some people refer to their planners as women, and I have never seen a gender on my planner. My planner does not have 
My planner does not have either their sexual units, but I also know that sexual organs do not necessarily define your gender. So my planner both does not have sexual organs and does not have a gender identity. That does not mean my planner is non-binary. It just means my planner is not a person. And so it doesn't have a gender. <laughs> Oh my God, there's dust everywhere. All we are is dust in the wind. So Jesse and I watched Suspiria last night. I just totally spit. Suspiria. I'm like fucking um, Sylvester the cat. It's close enough. Um, the, the new one, not the Dario Argento one. I saw the Dario Argento one years and years ago, but Jesse had never seen it. <laughs> that was an interesting experience. Okay, so... The book club live is 9 a.m. Pacific time next Saturday in the Llamas Love Lettering group. It was a very strange movie and also very slow burn. But once it started going, holy shit. My goodness. Ah, rosé bubblies. <laughs> okay, so that's down. That works. We're good. Okay, so now I want to cover up the dates. Why is my planner so dusty? What in the actual actual? My planner is a planner. Its pronouns are it, I guess. Yes. Um, have I watched the 70s Suspiria? They're different movies. The color palette is different. It doesn't have that like technicolor kind of feel that Dario Argento movies have. It's very neutral looking. Um, and there are, it's similar plot bones, but the stories go in completely different directions. So I actually think it's exactly what I like out of remakes in that it took the basic idea of something and then, did its own thing with it. So I love that about, like, it's not an unnecessary remake where everything is, you know, um, just rehashing. Like, I don't get that. I don't get when you re need to remake a movie just to, like, tell the same movie just with, you know, better special effects. Like, that's, you know, I don't get it. I don't get that, the point of that, you know? So I thought that they they did exactly what I would want a remake to do, it was still really fucking weird. No, we're not. We will talk about cats today. I just talked to my patrons about my cats review in the hangout. Oh my God, cats. Oh my God. We had smoked a little bit of pot before going in. I live in California. It's legal here, my dudes. And I don't think we smoked enough pot beforehand. Let's just say that. I'm not sure there is <laughs> let's just say afterwards i giggled so hard my mascara was running down my feet julie i did watch the video you sent me and then i found another one that actually like spoke to me even more where am i going to put my simply gilded washi i'm not i'm not sure if i'm gonna i don't even have simply gilded washi out right now i'm not sure if i'm gonna use it or not hold on i'm just trying to white out all the things Am I going to see the new little women? I want to go see the new little women. I've actually heard it's wonderful. And I, like I heard that they, again, do something different with it than just the way it's been done in the past, which is awesome. I love Little Women, the book. Like I'm full, full blown. I read all the sequels. I was telling my patrons today that when I was a kid, I passionately identified with Joe, but my sisters had to break it to me that I actually Meg. So... <laughs> Have I ever thought about smoking pot for pain relief? I actually do smoke pot for pain relief occasionally. It makes me go to sleep. So it's mostly like the pain relief of going to sleep and trying to sleep through it. But my sleep is never that great when I've been smoking pot. So it just depends on the, uh, it depends on the circumstances. And Jesse actually picked me up some CBD weed that's heavy on the CBD. So we're going to try that at some point to see. I thought I burst a cyst earlier this week. So there may be some time for it later. Yes, exactly. It's the worst. You have to see it. I will go with you, but I never want to see it again. That's, an ex that's a perfect review of it. I feel like we were seeing a cult movie. Like, I feel like this is going to be like Rocky Horror Picture Show, where in 10 years, people are going to dress up as cats and go see re-showings of Cats at Midnight so that they can hear Ian, Sir Ian McKellen go, meow, 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 which was amazing. It was so amazing. Although I told my patrons the most disappointing part of the entire thing was somehow they managed to make Idris Elba not hot when he was his naked cat self, which I didn't think was possible. Like, 
I wanted to go to see my man Idris Elba because I'm in, I think he's gorgeous and they made him not gorgeous. And I don't know exactly how that happened. I don't know. <sighs> right? How is that possible? Fuck if I know. Fuck if I know. And I will also say that Jason Rulo, Derulo was a delight to watch because he was having so much fun. Jason Derulo was so excited to be in a movie. He, he just was so happy. He was so happy. And in every scene that he was in, he was being very Jason Derulo and I was okay with it because it was just, it was delightful. They were all in different movies. They did edit his bulge out, but that's okay. Not Idris Elba's bulge, Jason Derulo's bulge. I would have been fine with Idris Elba's bulge, but we didn't get to see that either, sadly. I think I'm on the right days here. Hey Jess, will you look at a calendar really quick? Can you? Just look at your phone. Oh wait, today's 29th, so tomorrow is 30th, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm just making sure I'm putting the right numbers down. Rum Chum Chugger is a curious cat. Yes, he was very Jason Derulo. Anyway, so Cats was, was a masterpiece, and I think you should all go see it, all of you. I think you should go see it and go, <laughs> go in for the tour de force of, J of Jason Derulo and Sir Ian McKellen going meow, 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 and Jennifer Hudson's snot. And her beautiful rendition of memory. It was a gorgeous rendition of memory. But God damn it, if that movie was not the weirdest shit I have seen in a long time. And I have seen Troll 2. I have seen some weird shit. <sighs> what about Star Wars? Have I seen that? I haven't even seen the Star Wars previous to this Star Wars. I'm a Star Trek person. And there's just something about the newest Star Wars movies where I'm just not that interested. Forgive my rosé. It's bubbly rosé, by the way. I thought you all should know that. Okay. The cat girls did have boobs. Taylor Swift had massive kitty boobs. It makes me sad that Taylor Swift's cat was so sexy looking. I don't even think Taylor Swift's that sexy, but her cat was super sexy looking. And yet Idris Elba was like the least sexy cat of all time. And he's a sexy man. So they fucked him up. They fucked him up. What the actual hell? Okay, so this is where we're at so far. Nice and nice and working. What are we going to cover that up with? This isn't big enough. I'm going to have to figure some shit out. Okay. There is another Trolls movie coming in March. That trailer was during the Cats movie. Would I ever do a plan with me while smoking or after sm Probably not. Just, I, I wouldn't be able to focus. All right, where are we at here? So I actually have my list. I have my list. Talked about cats. I'm sure I'll talk more about cats at some point. But I know we need to have like a manly bulge. Like, why did that pop a giant sticker on it? We should get a, one of these. Probably one of these full box stickers. But I need to use stuff from here, my dudes. Okay. These are supposed to be countdowns and I didn't start doing it. Maybe I'll put them down the side here. I don't know. Okay, we'll figure that out. Ooh, this I hope to sticker. Maybe that's a good one to cover this up with. Meow, 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 meow. It's bigger than I want it to be. Maybe a small sticker. Okay. Where the fuck? Here we go. This one? Will this one fit? Yes. Hold on. We'll do some whiting out. <laughs> Was Cats the Broadway play better than the movie? I've never seen it on Broadway. I've seen the movie of it, like the, the filmed version of the Broadway show. And I would say 
even without having seen it on stage, I would imagine the stage show is better because you're going to get one of the complaints I had with it, like not the funny, let's make fun of Ian McKellen kind of complaints, but the actual complaints was that the CGI was so bad that even the beautiful dancing looked fake, even though I knew it wasn't fake. Like intellectually, I knew that they got some really great dancers for this movie and the choreography was stunning. Like it's the guy who choreographed Hamilton, Andy Blankenbuehler is the one who choreographed the movie. And this choreography is phenomenal, but because they're so CGI'd with all their fur and shit, it looked fake, even though it wasn't. And it distracted from the dancing. And I would imagine that in person, the dancing is just so out of this world. Like I love dancing in musical theater. And so it was almost offensive to me that the dancing looked so shoddy, even though they had great dancers and great choreography. So that might tell you. There we go. Now it's covered up. Woohoo! Look at that. Okay. How did I already get three thumbs down? Maybe it's for people who really like cats. Okay. Or people who... Okay, so I got a question about the doodles. Yes, I'm going to be do doing them and it's going they're going to be posted tomorrow. And I'm going to pro I haven't decided where I'm doing them yet though. I feel like I might not be doing them. I might do them in my bullet journal, I might not do them in my bullet journal. I haven't decided yet. But they I will be doing them and the challenges are ready to be posted. I'm doing throwbacks for doodling and lettering. So you'll see them tomorrow, but they will be posted and I will be doing them during plan as you go. I just haven't decided exactly where yet. I'm still thinking about that. Um, yes, and also the CGI cattails didn't remotely move like real cat's tails, except that they, they looked like they were all fucking horny all the time. Like I was waiting for a cat orgy to break out because then maybe I'd get to see Idris Elba's wiener, but no, no such luck. Although I thought they all were going to start making sweet love to Dame Judi Dench at one point. Do you remember that, Jess, when they all started rubbing on her when she came back? And I was like, oh, God, this is going to be like a Judi Dench cat orgy. <sighs> okay. Thumb downs, folks. Want Idris Elba to be sexy, unsexy? That is wrong. Okay, so here we are. This is where we're at so far. And this is looking usable. You know, the one thing I did miss about Hourly was using these stickers over here. And that is actually... A good idea, and I think I'm going to do that this week, and don't forget. I need to start using some of these stickers, though. Oh, my God. I need to start using some of these stickers. I have not used them yet. I haven't used them yet. Maybe what I'll do is I'll run some washi tape along here. Pink or green or plaid? Plaid. I think I'll do green because there isn't as much green as there is pink in this whole situation. Let's see. I don't know. I feel like the pink would look better. That's too bright though. Dude, the penis, I know what cat penises look like because my, I don't know if those of you, some of you might know. Some of you, that tiny box, I probably would put weather in or maybe my blood pressure in, but I'm not doing that today. So I think I want to cover it up. And I think I'm going to put my weather up here and my meals here. And then I'll put my blood pressure somewhere else. I don't know where yet. But I think weather's going to go up on top and meals are going to go in this little box here. And then this would be my blood pressure each day, but I want to cover it up today. I think I'm going to try the plaid because the green wasn't doing it for me and the pink wasn't doing it for me. But I think, what do you think? Will that look nice? I think that'll look nice. Um, anyway, what was I saying? There was something I was saying. I don't remember what though. I can't see what I'm doing. This is the problem with having a camera. Like it's right where my head should be. And I don't want to stick my hairline like under the camera because then you guys might see my bald spots and I'm just not about showing those off. There's nothing wrong with having bald spots, but that's not, that doesn't mean that I want them to show all the time. I know, oh yes, I know what a cat penis looks like. Where should this plaid go? Yes, that's where I'm at. <laughs> cat penises. Okay, my kitten, Lucy, does not have, did not have a mom when he was a kitten. Their mom abandoned them or died or something. I'm not sure what. 
But the foster mom warned us when we adopted him from the rescue that all of the kittens in that litter, all the male kittens, soothed themselves by suckling on their little kitty penises. Like they gave themselves blowjobs for that suckling comfort. And so Lucy, from time to time, will start super loud purring and then making like the most extreme muffins while he gives himself a kitty blowjob. And so I have seen an erect kitty penis because when he's done and he stops suckling, there it is, poking out after he's like had his time with it. So yes, I know what a kitty penis looks like because my kitten is like that guy on the album cover of Tool. Yes. But making like when he does it, like it's like purring and then like just like extreme muffins while he's doing it. He is getting down while he's doing it. All right. I like how that looks. I think the plaid was a good choice. And I think we should go to Defcon Brushev because, because definitely we should go one, one down because of talking about kitty blowjobs. Kitty blowjobs is an automatic Defcon level. I'm just saying. <laughs> I have it. I actually have a little video of it that I took to send to Jesse at work where you could hear like the purring in the background. Yeah, sometimes when we're in bed, we can hear him start purring and making muffins and Jesse will just roll over and be like, I think he's giving himself a blowjob. Like, there goes Lucy. <laughs> Some people drink after trauma. Kitties blow themselves. <laughs> Caroline, tell your husband you're watching the nature channel. Okay. Okay, so we have the plaid down. Now I'm going to, I need to, I haven't used any of these stickers yet. So we're going to use a weekend sticker and put it on the weekend right here. Weekend. Okay. Look, we put a sticker down. Yay! And then a happy new year sticker to go down over the, uh, New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, right here. Happy New Year. See, look, I use two stickers from here now. I'm done. My plan with me's over. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, why is everything so dusty? I think I'm just dusty. What is going on here? He already is fixed. Like, that's the thing. Lucy's already fixed. Oh it's, yeah, it's not a sexy thing. It's not sexy. It's like, it's, it's, it's comfort. <laughs> it's like sucking your thumb. <laughs> All right. I need to get some more rosé soon. This is going fast. I wasn't expecting to drink this quickly, but. Uh, it's really good rosé. It is really good rosé. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll put the weather in. Why am I so itchy? Maybe <laughs> because I'm talking about kitty blowjobs. <laughs> Blood pressure is going to go in the sidebar, Jessica. I think maybe what I'll do is put it right with this one. Will the pink one look good? Yeah. Cover up the washi a little bit. So that'll be for the blood pressure. And I'll put that right here. And then meals will go across the bottom, and then weather will go across the top. Which rosé is it? Jess, which rosé is it? It's the uh, Penelope Gadcoster Sparkling Rosé. What he said. From Naked Wines. Yeah, from nakedwines.com. Okay. Um, don't forget sticker. That's actually a good idea. Use the don't forget sticker above that. Rum Tum Tugger is a curious cat. And then we'll put the This Week sticker up here. There's a car. Oh, well, it's raining. So in California, anybody who lives in California can probably testify to this. In California, when it rains, you're likely to hear lots of sirens because California people don't know how to drive when it rains. And I grew up in, in uh, California, and I can still say that. Um, 
Do I like dry wine or sweet? I prefer sweet wine. I'm gonna go wine. Wine. I'm gonna go get some more wine. Hold on. Hold, please. You do like German wines. I will do the German dance for you. It's fun and gay and tra la la. Hope you will enjoy my dance. Fiddly eye, fiddly eye. Would you like some sauerkraut, German boy, German boy? <laughs> All right, Rosé, I've got it. All right, so we, this is looking very civilized. Civilized business people. Okay. I'm going to put the weather in now while I'm thinking about it. But only through Thursday. Which actually seems like a good time to talk about plan as you go. Because the way I do my weather, generally speaking, is this is the wrong pen. And I was going to write this on my paper and bleed through in a brand new planner. Okay. Um, so plan as you go technically is going to, okay, here's how it's going to work. Let me, let me, allow me to, 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 to tell you. Okay. So I'm going to doodle. So plan as you go, for those of you who have not been here for a plan as you go month, is when I show how I use my planners every, every day for the course of an entire month. I have done it in a few different ways before. Most recently in, was it August, question mark? When I went live every day. I am not going to do that this time because even though it was a lot of fun, it fucked my analytics over. Like it tanked. My channel did not do well overall because of that. And as much as I love talking to all of you guys, I also love, you know, having my channel do okay. So what I'm going to do is a combination of series because the other problem that runs into is when I film every morning and then have to edit and get it up that day, it just sucks up my day and I can't focus on anything but plan as you go. And that also becomes a problem when I'm trying to do other things. Like I'm trying to get another Skillshare class up in January and some other things. So I need to have it in such a way where it doesn't make my family life super impacted and it doesn't make my work life so like brought into plan as you go that I can't do other things. So I have an idea that I'm going to try and go with this month. So here's how it's going to work. Plan as you go is not going to be every, it's not going to be in real time in that the video you see each day was recorded that day. It's going to be the day before. So I'm going to actually start recording my plan as you go videos on the 31st with the first one going up on the first. So each day is going to be a day off to give me time to edit it at my leisure. And so I can take care of other things, but you're still going to get all the videos of me doing it. So the way it's going to work. And now that I have this open, um, Julie, I'll address that in a hot minute. So the, when I have this open, this will kind of illustrate it. So each day's plan as you go video will be from the day before, and those will be Tuesdays through Saturday. So Tuesday will be Monday's video, Wednesday will be Tuesday's video, and so on and so forth. I will not be planning filming plan as you goes on Saturday, because if you've ever watched one of my plan as you goes, you'll know that my Saturday planning is like next to nothing, because I generally speaking don't do too much with, like I plan my weekends out on Friday, and I tend to sort of go with that over the weekends. So, and it gives me a full day off, which is something I need to work on. But you'll still get a video on Saturdays. You'll get plan as you go. And then Sundays will be live plan with me's every Sunday in January at the same time, 2.30 p.m. Pacific time, except there's gonna be one Sunday where it may, may be later because I have to carpool and I will make sure to publish that ahead of time. Same with my patron hangouts. Those will be on Sundays all January. So you'll get a live plan with me every single Sunday in January. And then Mondays will be a pre-recorded video, whether it's a planner review or a rant. I've got some rants I'd like to film and put out there. I got to talk about my meal planning for the year. All of those things will happen on Monday. So Monday will be, a, so there will still be a video every single day. There will be plan as you go five days a week, a plan with me every week and a pre-recorded video every week. And that's how plan as you go is going to work this time. And I think that might be the best way for me to balance my family and my work and you guys and everything without losing my fucking shit. So that's how it's going to go. I know that's probably confusing, but you'll get it when it happens. So, 
And remember, one of my goals this year is to be in the comments for an hour each day when the video goes live. So hopefully that'll happen every single day. So if you're here, if you hit the notification so that when the video goes live, likely I will be in the comments responding to you. 10 out of 10, hope, hope so. You do not have to show your faces, Kat. If you're going to the Patreon Hangouts, you can leave your video off. And you can leave your voice off and just talk in the chat. Anyway, Thursday is sunny and cloudy. And 63.41. And so you'll see me update my weather at the end of the week when I get closer to the end of the week to update it. But that's my weather so far. Oh, thanks, Joanna. I don't know how I accomplish what I do, and that's probably something I'm going to rant about in January. Okay, I'm drinking my drink. Now I'm going to put my meal plans in because I actually have those through the week. Would you guys like to hear some of my meal planning shit that's going to pretend? I'm going to do a more in-depth video on it in January, but if you'd like to hear kind of where we're at right now for our... Um, for our meal planning challenge for the month, for the 2020, I've got that. Chicken and green beans. Steaks. Appetizers. What I got for Thursday. Thursday we're foraging because Jesse has band practice. Friday I wanna do date night, so hopefully we'll go out somewhere. Now that you know that, Jesse, the more you know. Sunday, I want, uh, Saturday, I want to try a beef with broccoli crock pot recipe that I've never tried before. And then Sunday, I want to do arugula and pancetta because I don't know if the kids are going to be home on su Sunday night or if, they, uh, or if they're getting back on Monday. Kids are normally would be back on Friday, but they're going to sack anime with my ex-husband. And so they're going to be with him for the weekend. And then we'll get them back either Sunday night or Monday morning. I'm not sure yet which one. Aw, Kat, thank you. I'm glad you're happy. Thank you for the super chat. I have tried plump, plump paper planners, Tiffany. I don't like their paper. I mean, they're great planners. The paper just is not something I'd want to use on a daily basis. I like porous paper. Patreon Hangouts are on Zoom. All right, so my, um, you have a date night tonight, Debbie? Yeah, I knew, I knew you were getting some. Okay, meal planning status. So, what, so this last year, I'll talk more about this in an upcoming video. We tried a different fruit or vegetable every month that's in line with the renal diet. And Jesse requested that we do something this next year where the chance of success is higher because we had a lot of recipes that didn't work out so great. And so this year we're going to try a different type of meal every month for the month, uh, once a week for the month of the year. Like each month will be a different kind of meal. January is going to be crock pot meals where we find new recipes once a week. We try a new recipe. There's going to be times where we want the kids to participate in it. Jesse's going to have a whole month to himself because we're going to be using the grill and I don't touch the grill. So that's our goal is like different types of meals. Like one month will be soups, one month will be sandwiches, one month will be tacos, one month will be meatless meals, one month will be fish, things like that. And then, um, so that's what we're going to wind up doing. Okay, so I've got meals in. This is for the blood pressure. This is my weather. So we're doing good so far. I think it's time to get to the actual weekly planning. So the first thing I want to do is put in some washi tape to denote plan as you go starting because I like doing that. Maybe we'll use the green. Taco month I'm excited about. I'm excited about all of them technically, but... But taco month sounds awesome to me because I love tacos. And we all love tacos. So one of the other things, it's not kind of it's in, it's it's implied in the challenge, but it's not actually of the challenge, is to to experiment like with crock pot meals. The goal is to find crock pot meals that aren't necessarily made with like pot roast or stew meat or chicken breast because I am the master of cooking those things, but maybe finding other things to cook with that I don't generally cook with. That's why pasta is not on the list because I do a lot of pasta centric meals. And so we're trying to expand my repertoire 
an hour, like not only my repertoire of what I'm willing to cook, because I can cook a lot of things. I'm actually a halfway decent cook. But to not only cook different things, but to expand my palette the way we did this year. So that's what we're going to be working on is different different situations like that so soup timber oh i like that Ooh. Yeah. um and then monchelle suggested doing a cooking club where i publish what it's going to be and everybody can like talk about it and that could be fun i don't know if i want to do that or not but if i do i'll make Kristen make stickers for like taco month or soup timber or whatever Kristen, you're up <laughs> Okay, so maybe this is a perfect opportunity to use this sticker for plan as you go right here. Look at that. I'm using a sticker that I'm supposed to. Yay me. Following the arbitrary rules I have set for myself. Because if I don't, then the boss of me, which is me, will get mad. I love to cook. I'm just not, I'm picky, so I'm not good at expanding. I love to cook the same things over and over again. <laughs> Plan as you, plan as yo, plan as you go. There we go. Look at that. Yes. Yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited about using the vertical, but I haven't actually done any plans yet. I've just put the framework in. I love how the framework works, but I haven't actually planned in it yet. So this could be, this could be me like, Jump in the gut with my, like, yay, I love this, but I haven't actually planted it yet. <laughs> Whew. Taco Tober. Talk October. Talk, taco. How would you pronounce Talk -tober. that? Talk Tober. That doesn't sound right. Taco Tober. Taco Octo. You got a Dutch oven and a toaster oven for Christmas? Dude, I would love a toaster oven if I had somewhere to put it. Our kitchen is so fucking small, and I would want to leave the toaster oven out. And we just don't have anywhere for it. We keep our toaster in a cupboard because there's not enough cabinet, like, counter space for our shit. <sighs> okay. Now that we got this done, I got to start my actual planning. Okay. I love these colors. These colors, you're right. These colors are so me. Oh, they're so pretty. Pretty colors. So beautiful. What is the song that she sings in, uh, what's it, Blazing Saddles? The night is young and, no wait, it's, uh, it's men, in uh, men in Tights. The night is young and you are so beautiful. <laughs> the night yeah. is young and you are so beautiful. Okay. Aw, <laughs> oh, thank you for the uh, super chat, Leslie, because I'm back in the vertical and also cat penises. <laughs> oh, my parents can see me now. Okay, where are we at? Monday. What do I got going on on Monday? I got some shit because I didn't do the work I wanted to on Friday. Friday, I got fucking distracted by my kidneys hurting, which is a legitimate distraction, but it's still a distraction. So I have a lot to do on Monday. To get my podcast for Monday is not recorded yet. Let's put it that way. I have to get Monday's podcast recorded and posted. I need to get my patrons post up for that day. I need to film and like do my power sheets. That's why I don't have my power sheets out for this week because I haven't actually filled them out for January yet. So I need to do that. And it's Kat's birthday. I won't be with Kat that day. Kat's at dad's house, but I need to call Kat. Did you guys know that my kid is turning goddamn 16? My oldest is turning 16. My oldest will be old enough to get a driver's license. I am hashtag old. Your oldest is already old enough to drive in California. My oldest is old enough to have a driver's permit in California. Uh -huh. Not old enough to have a license right. until Monday, old. tomorrow. Technically tonight, technically 1.40 in the middle of the night is when I push that kid out with their giant head and the ring of fire in my vagina. Yeah, cat was almost 10 pounds with a giant fucking head and it took 45 minutes to push, push that kid out of my, my fucking, I almost said my ass, that's not right. <laughs> that's, that's the wrong hole. My, yeah, I turned 40 on January 31st. I will be turning 40 during Plan As You Go, just so you all know. Just so you all know. My 40th birthday will be during Plan As You Go. <sighs> okay, so Monday's Cat's birthday. Monday, I have a lot of work to do. And I got to call Cat and be like, I love you. You're so old. I love you. 
I got a Fitbit, by the way. This is going to be my step tracker and my sleep tracker. And I got a bunch of bands that match it so I can change them based on, where did I put them? Based, where did, there they are. I got a bunch of different color bands off of Amazon for super cheap so I can match it to my outfit because I like being matchy matchy. I got all these bands, but the rose gold one is my favorite because I'm basic. So yes, it's a Fitbit Inspire because it was cheaper and it's not that big. I don't want a big one. I want one that is, that is small. Okay. Anyway, baby's out the butt. <laughs> okay. So, and I got more to talk about, about tracking. I got all the things I get so distracted. Okay. Cat's birthday. They've got a birthday, like it's a 2020, but it's also a birthday. So hold on. Maybe I need like the drinking one because I'm going to be drinking because I'm like sad that my kid is old. I'm like, oh, 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 my child is an old child. I'll use this green one right at the top. We'll start there. That's green right there, though. I don't want green next to green. No. We'll do with the gray one. Go with the gray. We'll put it right here, right underneath this situation. It is fucking pouring outside. It is a rainy day. Rainy day is a month. So I'm not, we're going to door dash our dinner tonight because I was going to go to the grocery store, but I slept in. And then on top of that, now I'm drinking, but it's also raining. So fuck that. I'll go grocery shopping. That's another thing I have to do tomorrow. I should write that down so I don't forget because I am getting distracted. <sighs> Grocery store. This alcohol is hitting me so hard. My tar I had a Starbucks sandwich for lunch and I don't think that was enough to soak it up because now my face is blurry. <sighs> All right. Someone else got a Versa? I got, no, I got a, I got an Inspire. This is an Inspire 2, I think, is what it is. Because they had it in stock at my Target. And it was on sale. That's why I got it. And because I didn't need all the apps. It says 2020, but this is going to be a birthday guy anyway. Birthday Steve as well. It's the birth of a new year and the birth of an, a child. And now I'm going to grab, no, you know what I'm going to grab? I'm going to grab this fucking, this fucking, sands of this like the sands through an hourglass these are the days of our lives when your oldest kid turns 16 so that's gonna be to represent how old i'm getting all right so cat you guys i am so proud of cat let me just say i'm gonna cry but let me just say i am so proud of cat Cat knows who they are. And even though they still have to deal with high school drama and they dealt with middle school drama and they have to deal with all of this bullshit that comes with being 16 and being in high school, Cat knows who they are and is happy and proud to be who they are and refuses to be someone else because that's what is popular or that's what's going to get them by. Cat will always be who they are regardless of the consequences. And I am so proud of them for that. Like, that is something that took me so long to learn. And the fact that they know that now is, it's just amazing. And it might be hard to be in high school and to be somebody who's a little bit different and to have to live with the consequences of that. But it'll carry through their lives so well. And it just, it makes me so proud of them. So proud of them. Like, I don't want to gush over them too much because they get, sometimes when I over gush, they get a little like, mom, you're peopling too hard around me right now. I need a break. And they let me know that. But like, that they just, they blow my mind by knowing them. Having Kat as my kid is, it's amazing. And both my kids, but Kat right now is the one who's like throwing me off a little bit. Okay, now I'm not going to cry. Cat is 16. I am going to cry. And I wish both my parents were still around because I feel like they would be just blown away by how amazing their grandkid is. So hard. So hard. Right? Like, when you know who you are and you don't give a fuck. Or you do give some fucks, but you're still willing to be who you are. Like, that's just, it's, it's an amazing skill that takes a lot of us so long. I didn't learn that till I was in my 20s. 
I mean, I was always who I am, but I was never accepting of it. For the longest time, I felt like there was something wrong with me because people couldn't hit, like I was so loud and kind of obnoxious and always says, what I always say what's on my mind. And when I was in high school, that wasn't what the way you were supposed to be. And I thought that there was something wrong with me because I couldn't seem to change who I was to get along better. And so I thought that I needed to fix something about myself. And then when I got older, I realized, no, you don't need to fix yourself. You just need to remember that not everybody is going to like you. And that's okay. And I didn't learn that till I was in my 20s. And my kid already knows that. They already know that. And they're 16. Did my kids meet my parents before they passed? Not my dad. My dad died when I was 21 and I had cat when I was 13. When I was 13. I had cat when I was 23. <laughs> Not 13. Um, my mom, however, both of my kids got to meet my mom. RJ was not even one when my mom died and Kat was three and had spent a week with my mom in Bakersfield. So a few hours for me, um, right before my mom died. So Kat got that week with my mom right before she died, which makes me so happy that A, Kat got that week with her before she died and B, that she didn't die while Kat was down there because that would have sucked ass. So. <laughs> okay, now I'm drinking. And I think that's being sad and having a crying moment is... Defcon Khrushchev, because who throws a shoe? People whose kids are 16 and they can't handle them being older. Who throws a shoe? <sighs> All right, so Cat is 16. We got that far with the crying. <laughs> okay, what else do we have to do on Monday? How am I gonna do this? So when I was working in the horizontal, I would segment my days. I got a lot of work to do, but I also have to go grocery shopping, but it's mostly work. So maybe I could put grocery shopping here. It doesn't have to be in order. And then these two guys can be full of work, I think is what we'll do. Will Kat be willing to talk on my channel about being non-binary and sharing their story? I don't know, maybe. Maybe on my channel, maybe on my podcast, I'm not sure. I can ask, but um, I don't know. Cat sometimes is down to like let it all hang out there and sometimes is like, fuck you, I'm not saying a fucking word. So I can't predict that, but maybe I can ask. How are you feeling about the vertical layout? I'm not sure yet. How are you gonna use the box? I fucking know yet. Okay, cat is 16 and grocery shopping. I know I'm gonna do that. That's what I'm gonna do because I have to go grocery shopping on Monday. I have something that'll work for that. I have my top three pri top priorities I usually do, but that's normally what goes in the top. But I'm not going to, I don't know if I'm going to do it that way or not. Maybe my, my priorities will be in this bottom box. This will be my top priorities. Yes, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's, let's. Maybe what we'll do is we'll grab some of these and write priorities down here. And these will be my priorities for the day. Like work priorities or just general priorities? I don't fucking know. Whether I do this, like I can't just think about this time-wise because if I was going to think about this in terms of like the hours of the day, I would have gotten a fucking hourly. But I didn't. I got a vertical. Why? I don't know why. I'm a little drunk, so I have no idea. I'm drunk and I'm like weepy because I'm thinking about my fabulous 16-year-old. I feel like I should wax poetic about RJ too because otherwise you guys are going to think I only like one of my kids. And that's not true. That is not true. Like, oh, that's a great question, Christina. That is a great question. Christina asked, I listened to your custody podcast today. Do you kids see Jesse as a father figure in addition to their dad or more of a pal? They see him as a father figure, but in a slightly different way. There's like, they have their dad and they have their mom and then they have their Jesse and then they have their Amanda. And Amanda and Jesse are very much parental figures in their lives, but they, it was funny, Kat, or RJ, one of the kids, years and years ago, asked Jesse if they could call him dad. And Jesse was like, super touched. Like, oh my God, that is amazing. But dad is your dad. And I am Jesse. 
and that's two separate things. And it would hurt dad's feelings if you called me dad, which is true. It would have hurt their dad's feelings if they started, just like it would have hurt their my feelings if they started calling Amanda mom, because I'm their mom. But at the same time, right. Okay, I'm trying to see where I was at in the color, the color situation. Um, but Jesse very much is there, Jesse. And I think the interesting thing is that we each have different facets of our personality that the kids can come to us based on which one of us like works. Like Jesse works really well with RJ when it comes to certain technology things and video game things because Jesse himself is also a gamer. But then he'll go to dad because dad's into like the vintage games, like the old Nintendo games and stuff, whereas Jesse is more current. Like RJ is going to be building the computer with Jesse for his Christmas present when they come back from their dad's house. Just like Kat did. Kat got their computer. Our rule in our house is you pay for the parts and we will help you pay for them, but you have to build it. Because just, I, I mean, I'm not going to get involved with that. I didn't build my computer. I got a fucking Mac, but I'm a grown person with my own fucking money. And so I don't have to live by these rules. But the kids, if they wanted a computer, they had to build it themselves with Jesse as part of the process. And so RJ is going to be building his first computer with Jesse when they come back from the dad's house. But like each of us has our own interests. Each of us has the things we like. Each of us has the things that we do. And so they get different it's like basically they have four adults, trusted adults in their house that they can come to if they need to and that they can talk to if they need to, but we're all different. And I have a certain relationship with the kids because both kids in a lot of ways take after me. And, but that also makes me the biggest pushover. I am the pushover of the four parents. I am the one that they get away with the most of. I am the one that gets walked all over the most. I can admit that I am the pushover. And so I have to lean on the other three parents in our four parent custody situation to help me when I am not being the most um, adult. I don't know what the right word is for that. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, so yes, Jesse is absolutely a father figure to the kids. But he's not their stepdad. He's their Jesse. Like, that's how they refer to him. He is their Jesse. That's like its own title, which I actually think is really cool. So we'll put priorities here. I'll just write that in each of these priorities. Let's make sure I spell it right in each one. I have no idea what's happening in the comments. I should scroll through. This is not my normal planner, Madi. <sighs> Lakina Drewipi. <laughs> Can I see it in the blue box? Kinda. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. Oh my God, my nose is running. I thought you all should know that. I got the snots, me and Jennifer Hudson. I should start singing memories. Memory, all the snot in the moon, which I'm gonna have some rosé now. You're, you're the Marty. Yeah, see that makes sense. Like my grandkids, well my, my parent, okay, hold on, I gotta get more rosé, hold on. Um, so I will say that I would say that Kat has a special relationship with Jesse because I am a very touchy feely. If you've met me in person, you know, this, I love to hug. I'm very physical with my affection and Kat, while we're very similar in a lot of ways, Kat has limits on their physical affection to the point where Kat has been like, mom, go hug RJ 
He's cool with it. I need I need a break from physical affection. Cat will tell me that and I'll be like, oh man, but then I'll go hug RJ and it's fine. But Jesse is like the master of being hugged, but doesn't like invade. So Cat will just go up to Jesse and just hug him when Cat needs a hug or when Cat needs to hug somebody. They have a very special relationship. RJ and I have our own particular relationship, but it really warms my heart because when we first moved in together, Cat hated Jesse. Cat took out their frustration at Russell and I getting divorced, at Russell and I separating, all of that because Cat was five and RJ was three. Cat took it all out on Jesse because Amanda had a daughter and knew how to interact with kids. Jesse was like a 23 year old dude who had no fucking idea what he was doing. And so he was the easy target for Cat to like take all of the anger out on him. And then they found their relationship together. And now Cat and Jesse are super tight. And it makes me really happy. <sighs> all right. Jesse is something special. Oh my God, Deb. I totally agree. My husband is fucking Deb got to meet Jesse, Deb and her wife, Sue and Jess, who I don't think is in here right now. And they got, and Jen Lisa got to meet Jesse. Like they're the only ones in the planner community besides Betty who have gotten to meet Jesse so far. And he is a, he's a special, special man. And we got sexual feelings on this. How long was I separated from my ex before seeing Jesse? About nine months, I think. And Russell started uh, dating his wife right after I started seeing Jesse, but technically they had dated before. Russell's wife is actually his high school sweetheart and they reconnected after we separated, which I think is great. I love my ex-husband's wife. Amanda is phenomenal. Like she is great. She is a, I trust her in, completely with my kids. I think that she is fantastic. And whenever I see people getting upset about stepmoms. Like I feel very protective around stepmoms because my kids have a great stepmom and I understand that being a step parent, both my husband and my ex's wife, I understand how rough of a position that must be to be in. But oh my God, like I have been so grateful for both of the extra parent, the bonus parents that my kids have. And so I feel like I need to, as a mom, as a biological mom, to advocate for the stepmoms of the world because I... I see how a great stepmom is like unsung, but amazing. Like so many stepmoms don't get the credit for, and the stepdads don't get the credit for the role they have to play in a kid's life while having to step back because they're not the parents. So anyway, moving forward. Yeah, bonus parents. I need a relationship podcast. Dude, I bet I could get Jesse on there. He was so uncomfortable the first podcast we did together because he was like, fuck, nobody cares about what I have to say. And I'm like, motherfucker, you're amazing. Shut your fucking mouth. All right. There are some good and some bad. That's the thing. Like some step parents are fucking bogus, but the ones that are good never get seem to get the credit for how amazing they are. And having a good relationship with your kid's step parent is like, if there's anything I can say about sharing custody, it's make a good relationship with your kid's step parent because like on the other side, like your counterpart, because that like having a good relationship with Amanda, which we had to develop, we didn't have it right away. There was like a couple of years where it was rough, but once we developed our relationship, it has been so helpful, especially when I have something I need to talk to the kids about and I don't really have the nerve to talk to my ex about it. I'll go to his wife. So they all are saying that we should do a relationship podcast because they all think you're amazing and they want to hear what you have to say. What do you say to that? I don't have that much to say. He's wearing his Tyrion Lannister I drink and I know things shirt. So he does know things. Yeah, if it says it on my shirt, it must be true. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm like so rambling and like I've barely done shit. Okay, let's see. <laughs> All right. Priorities. This sticker is going to go in my priorities. Be more awesome than last year. That's a priority for the new the new year. Right, Jesse? Yeah, is that for, your New Year's resolution? Is that your New Year's resolution? I'm turning that around on you, my dude. Be more awesome than last year. Though you're pretty fucking awesome. So, I don't know. You are like an awesome man. I surprise myself at the end of the year. Well, that works. It's worked out. How's that worked out for you so far? 
I mean. <gasps> Be more awesome than last year. I need to layer that with something. Let's layer that like with. at. Right? Like. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't listen to you very often. <laughs> My nose is running. I thought you all should know that. Okay, let's see here. We'll do some of these like sh these like streamers to layer. We'll do some layering because I need to I need to get more bang for my buck with these stickers. Okay. And I know, I'm look, glancing at the comments, I know that like not every blended family relationship is that way. I get that. I feel like what I'm saying mostly applies to people where everybody coming into the relationship is, I feel like those like streamer stickers don't work there, but whatever. Um, everybody coming into the relationship is not being petty. Maybe is a good way to go about it. But yeah. Will there be a podcast tomorrow? Yes, but I have to record it still. So that needs to go on my priorities. Huh? <laughs> All right. Let's see. Maybe I should grab a podcast sticker. Let's grab a once more with love sticker. Where did I put them? I reorganized all my shit and I don't know where anything is. Okay. That's what happens. You reorganize and you don't know where fucking anything is. Podcast. Here's my podcast stickers from once more with love. And maybe I'll use this green guy right here because this is like a number one priority is to get the podcast recorded and scheduled. That is crooked. How in the fuck am I feeling better? Um, yes, I am feeling better. I am still super congested and snotty. If you can't tell from my ultimate like sniffling that's going on right up in this business. There we go. Look at that. But I am not feeling like I'm going to die, which is basically how I was feeling right before Christmas. It was so bad, you guys. Like, ask Jesse. I was in bed or, like, like dragging myself around the house like Night of the Living Dead. It was so awful. Record. Plus schedule. Or I guess publish, but whatever. Podcast. Podcast. That is definitely a priority on Monday because I haven't done that yet. So, <laughs> yay. Oh, good night, Tina. What rosé am I drinking? It's some Persephone, what's it called? <laughs> it's uh, Penelope. Naked yeah, Naked Penelope. Wines Penelope bubbly rosé of some sort. Yeah, it's her brute rosé. Brute rosé. Okay. Now, where are we at? Okay. This sheet has got some stickers used up. We're going back to planning. I'm getting so distracted. I am so distracted. So distracted. I have my patron post. I need to film that power sheets thing and I need to go to the grocery store. So put grocery store up here. I don't know how I'm doing this. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. It's just like, woohoo. That's all that's going on right now. Okay. This little grocery store icon though, that works. So is there a sticker off of here I can utilize for that? Maybe. No. No. Yes. No. No. Actually, no. Well, maybe. Actually, yes. We'll do a square. What is the point of these squares? I don't even know. I'm going to burp. You all need to take cover. It's going to happen. It's going to come in just a second. Hold on. <coughs> Excuse me. Told you. Don't say I didn't warn you. And look at that. Yes. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> that was a weak burp. You're right. Okay. Grocery store. Oh. All right. Drinking some more wine. Do I join you in the wine? If you're okay with drinking wine, if you are having trouble with your wine consumption, then no, don't drink it. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to pretend to, to own your priorities. Okay. I also need to put my patron post up that day. 
and I need to film my power sheets thing. But the Patreon post is more of a priority because my patrons are fucking amazing and I love them. And maybe I'll put a clock and write... Because that needs to happen first thing in the morning. Look at that. Look at that. Possible troll? Who? Oh, Jesus is truth. Okay. Jesus, are you? Because this is not... I really, you know, I don't want to silence people's religious freedom. But if you're just coming here to tell me about it, then maybe you should find a hobby. I did get this for Christmas, but it actually came with the white band and I ordered some cheap bands off of Amazon. It was like, I didn't get it for Christmas. I bought it with Christmas money, but, um, I ordered the band. There was like a pack of bands for like 10 bucks on Amazon. So I ordered those so I could be matchy matchy. Okay. We're going along on Monday. What else? I have to film the power sheets video which isn't a huge priority on Monday, but it is a priority. <laughs> What's that look for, Jesse? Huh? Never mind. Never mind. I need to vacuum too, because I'm not doing that today. Because that's not fucking happening. So I need to vacuum. I need some other situation to help me remember to vacuum. Because I need to vacuum. I need to vacuum. <sighs> this isn't helping. My nose is running. I thought you all should know that. Okay, I'll do pink. Pink. Imagine if you had been here during the cat pee this conversation. One can love Jesus and also love it when wine o'clock comes around. I agree. I feel like, okay, and this is maybe, I hope this isn't offensive to anybody. This is a place I shouldn't go when I've been drinking, but I'm going to go there because it's my fucking channel and I can do what I want. I'm just going to say, here we go. I'm going to open up a can of whoop ass. Are you ready for my whoop ass? I need to find a vacuuming sticker. I feel like, and when I, Jesse's already like cringing because he knows that when I say like, when I act, that when I'm like, blah, 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 he's like, oh no, Cindy is going on a fucking drunk tangent, a drangent, if you will. I feel like the historical Jesus of whom so many people have so much to say about would be appalled at the way people are so self-serving these days. And not looking out. And I might be a, a fucking hippie ass motherfucker. But I swear to God. Like if you think that people need to pull themselves up by their own bootstraps. And they don't need any social help from the greater system. I think you are not in line with the historical Jesus would have said. Because I'm sure he's as much of a fucking hippie if not more than I am. I'm just saying. Vacuum to use. Vacuum. Come. <laughs> Vacuum. <laughs> okay. Is that right? I think I spelled that right, right? Okay, I hope so. Yeah, like I'm I'm a I'm a atheist you I'm a humanist you you. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay. I gotta film. I gotta this is gonna take so long. I'm taking so long to get to my point here. I need to film my power sheets video. I keep saying that, but I have to do that on Monday. And I need a full box for that. Right here. I don't know what's happening. Right here. I'm gonna burp. <coughs> Woohoo! <laughs> yes, Debbie. 
And like Jesus was Jewish. What was I watching? There was something I was watching. It. No, we were at church. I wasn't watching TV. I was at my church. And we were talking about the Christmas story, the story of the birth of Jesus. And we were talking about it through the lens of the fact that this story was told and Jesus was Jewish by Jewish people who were fucking oppressed. And they were, they were waiting for somebody who would come and help them out of the oppression. And that that was the context in which Jesus was born, was Jewish people who were being fucking oppressed. They were being oppressed and they were looking for somebody who could lead them out of oppression. And that lens, and that was how we talked about the Christmas story. And I, that was what I wanted to tell you the other day, Debbie, and I totally forgot about it because I thought it was really interesting. And I thought about you as that aspect of talking about the the Christ birth story. And I got to play Joseph, which was awesome. I have a picture of that. I'll have to show it on Instagram because it was pretty cool. Anyway, film. January. Power sheets. I can't spell. Power she's. Historically speaking, the Gospels were written. Yes, Debbie, absolutely. You know, but the reminder, I think it was the biggest reminder. Like, yeah, Jesus was fucking Jewish. Like that was, I think, the biggest reminder that our minister wanted to make was that Jesus was Jewish. Okay. Okay, we got in through Monday. Monday's relatively planned so far. Let's, we'll figure more of this out later because I just cannot. I cannot. Tuesday. What do I have to do? Tuesday, book club email goes out. There's that. I have to film the first plan as you go. What else does this say? I have a patron live that day. I think if you're a patron, I'm going to post up for you guys to give me your words of the year because I think the patron live on Tuesday is going to be the one where I letter all of the words of the year so you can use those if you want to. I'm pretty sure. Didn't Izzy do one of those for a tattoo one year? I think so. Anyway, that's Tuesday. I have a patron live on Tuesday, the book club email. If you are not on the email list, um, it's Aaron. It's in the uh, It's in the description. The book club email goes out on Tuesday. God, I can't read my own writing. I think I'm drunk. A book, <laughs> book club email, patron live, film plan as you go, part one. Patron live at 2 p.m. It's New Year's Eve, and I have my content calendar for January to finish, to finalize, so I can show you guys how that planner works eventually, sort of. I don't know. That's awesome, cheer up, pirate. Thank you for doing that. Okay, so it's New Year's Eve, so I need to put some stickers on New Year's Eve. A priority on New Year's Eve is that Jesse kisses me at midnight, even if I'm asleep. Well, Aaron, I know your name. I pay attention. I'm not good at it, but I do pay attention. Jesse, will you kiss me on New Year's Eve? Yes. Yes. I should put something in here to represent that you might get some. Maybe I'll do this champagne with the top blowing out to represent spooge. <laughs> spooge. You're welcome. It's a priority. Dun, 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 dun. Even if I'm asleep, that doesn't mean you get to have sex with me without consent. But it does mean that you can wake me up. Maybe. If I get mad at you, then I take this all back. This is all contingent on whether or not I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Can spooge be my word of... Yes. Oh, Lion-heartedness. That's a great word, Mary. Focus vision, relationships. It's a lot of good words. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? Just for Jesse... Why is my phone? I think, no. The possibilities are endless. I'm going to put that right on top of that for you, Jesse. Huh? The possibilities are endless on New Year's Eve of what you might get out of me. You might get sexy fun times. You might get me saying, fuck you, I'm tired. <laughs> Bedtime at 8.30. Bedtime at 8.30. <laughs> Who knows? The possibilities are endless. <laughs> Uh, 
I'm going to burp again soon. Grit. Engage. Look at all these words of the year. My word of the year. What is my word of the year? Become. Not just because it says become. Like come. But like, you know what I mean. Maybe you don't. That's okay. All right. I should put these five, four, three, two, one balls on here. Balls in my mouth. Put them starting here. Five. They're supposed to be countdown stickers, but I didn't start early enough. My word of the year is become because I want to become all of the things I know I can be in this year. I want to come into being. Become the red dragon? Yes, I do. Just like in the Hannibal Lecter books. I want to become Ray Fiennes. <laughs> Because he looks like he has a grand old time. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Look, I use those stickers. Aren't I fabulous? Yes. I don't know what's happening in the comments. I see Spooge. I see other people. Yes, I do. Jess, I need more wine. I ain't going through this wine like it's nobody's business. Maybe I should stop. Do you think I should stop? I finished it, so... Force your hand a bit. Uh oh. We have no but more. I can open one of your other chilled bottles of wine. Are they bubbly? I don't know. You have like four or five bottles in the fridge, so. But if they're not bubbly, I don't care. What if they're Fantasia? Maybe. I'm really drunk, though. I should stop. Okay, so I'm only on Monday and I'm having some trouble here. Okay. <sighs> okay. Anyway, look, this is where the sticker sheet is so far, and we're only on Tuesday. All right. Tuesday. What did I say I have to do? I have to do Patreon Live, content, blah, 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 blah. Okay, lots of things. Okay. So I need to put my Patreon Live on here somewhere, and I think that this little happy Steve is a good, it says 31, so it needs to happen. So we'll put it right here. Maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe here. Maybe here? Maybe here. <gasps> it's covering these guys up, though. That's not good. Peel you up. Yeah, there we go. See, look at that. It layers. Is that crooked? Maybe. Patreon Live. That's not the right pen. Okay. Congrats on the engagement? What happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I missed an engagement. I need to know about this. Hold on. Mouse. Who, did, who got engaged? You just got... Hillary, you got engaged? Congratulations. That's amazing. Patron, I'm going to do some lettering. Patron. Did you know the world is spinning right now? I think I drank too much too fast. I just thought you all should know that. 2 p.m. on on New Year's Eve, Pacific time. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna drink some water. Have I tried the Statler Triplets gel pens? I don't think I've done the gel pens. I don't think I've done the gel pens. I want you all to see. This is my new sticker on my water bottle. I thought you all should know that. Okay. I don't even know what's going on in the planner. Okay. Wait, Hillary, I saw that. I knew you were engaged. It was in my patron group. Never mind. I mean, yes, yay, you're engaged, but I knew that already. Don't pay attention to me. I have some shut up, Jesse. <laughs> I've been drinking. How the fuck am I supposed to know shit? Okay. What else? So I have Patreon Live, and I have Jesse having potential sex with me. Potential, but with consent, sex. The email for the book club, plan as you go, and the content calendar. I got to get all those on here. Mm. Content calendar. I need an email. I need a fucking yeah. Fucking yeah. Yeah. 
There's a lot of New Year's specific stickers. I don't think I have enough room for all of these, but I have to make the room. <sighs> Book club. Put that one here. I put the top. He's Halloween Steve, yes, because he's my favorite Steve because he eats a lot of candy and I identify with that most passionately. Is that crooked? Yes. Balls in my mouth. Jesse got some socks that say jingle my bells and I keep saying jingle my balls because I think he should. I will grab his scrope bag and jingle it. Are you okay with that, Jesse? Are you okay with me saying your scrope bag on the internet? I mean... I, I can't take it back. Yeah. <laughs> You can jingle my balls, jingle my balls, my balls. Put this little message there. Yeah. <laughs> is this the right pen? Yes, it is. Book club email. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can order it online, Hillary, from NakedWines.com, but I'm not sponsored by them, although my husband works there. But they should sponsor me, but they haven't yet because they're foolish. But they should sponsor me. They should sponsor Plan As You Go Month. You should tell them that, Jesse. Have them give me money while I do live streams with their wine every Sunday. I'm just saying, influencer marketing, it's a thing. <laughs> Fools! Yes, Hillary. <laughs> Missed opportunity. Okay, where am I at? Book club email. I got something done to hear. What else do I have on my? That's the wrong list. Um, the content calendar and filming plan as you go, part one. Those are the two things I have to put on the calendar. I have many Kleenexes. I am so glad I'm your favorite person. They should supply the wine. Well, they do kind of supply the wine that I drink, but not because I'm an influencer, but because Jesse works there and he gets a wine allowance every month. So that's how they supply it. We have a whole closet. We have a whole closet of wine. It's fucking ridiculous. Welcome to Napa Valley. I'm telling you. Okay. It's so fucking redonkulous. Hmm. What do we have here? We need to do... We need to do... A plan as you go. I'm gonna do this 2020 sticker right here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna throw some stickers right in the breach. I'm gonna throw them right by like in the veritable taint of my that's not the taint. This is the taint of my planner. This is not. This is like the skin near the taint. What's the skin near the taint called? The butt cheek skin? The labia skin? This is the labia of my planner. Okay, if my planner was female, which it's not. But if it was, this is where, like, the vaginal folds are. The perineum, yes. Okay, can we see the wine closet? Not during this video, but maybe at some point. Now, what was I saying I was going to do here? This is the wrong pen. This is the wrong pen. God, this fucking rosé fucked me up, Jesse. What the hell? I'm live on YouTube right now, and the rosé made my face tingle. Okay, here we go. I'm going to make my planner look beautiful. Today, film, plan as you go, part one. That's what we're doing. Film, film. Film, I'm going to letter. I'm going to zoom you in so you can see how in control I am. Because I'm, can I zoom you in? Maybe. Yeah. I'm a professional. I'm going to put little these things in it. Look at this. I'm drunk and I can still let her. That's why you should buy my book. Because you're getting it from somebody who can his, get drunk and still hand let her. Because I'm a fucking professional. Plan as you go. Part one. There we go. I'm not going to watch this back. I never, okay, I'll, here's the funny thing. I never watch my live plan with me's back. So they happen and then I just accept it. I accept this. 
I accept what I do and I don't film it back. I don't want you back. Anyway, <laughs> when does my book come out? March, as far as I know. I have no control over these things. I'm supposed to talk to the marketing manager from the book people and I haven't, I don't know if they know what they got with me. They got something fucking something with me. I don't know what it is though. Content calendar for 2019. That's what I need. Maybe one of these 2020 things will work. Yeah, let's use these glasses. No, that's the wrong color. Steve, we'll use Steve. He'll go right here and he'll be 2020, wrong pen, content calendar. There we go. Okay, that's done. Tuesday's done. It would be so great to see my face right now. Yeah, I bet it would be. I think I have it fixed. I think they updated it. I just have to get the whole set like set up. But because I'm doing so many lives in January, it should be set up. Hopefully by next weekend. Sunday, the 5th, I'm going live. Okay. <laughs> Wednesday is the new year. This is where I got to use all these fucking stickers up. Okay, hold on. What do we got? Jesse's off that day. Woo! Plan as you go start, and I have to make a payment, except I can't make it that day because they're closed. So I guess I have to make it on Tuesday. So Sunday, Wednesday. I have nothing on my calendar except for Jesse being off. So I'm going to use some fucking stickers up is what I'm going to do. Happy New Year. The doodle and lettering theme this coming month is um, it's a throwback. So I'll post them tomorrow. But the throwback, I should write that down. Tomorrow's Monday. I need to post my challenges so I don't forget. Hold on. We've got to write that down so I don't forget. Where's this little exclamation point? Let's use that. Exclamation point. Post challenges. So I need to remember to do that. That's tomorrow. Oh, that's crooked. It's crooked. It's crooked. It does allow for more stickers. I am enjoying this so far. So far, the vertical planner is not crinkling my taint, which I am okay with. Jess? What? Do you crinkle my taint? Only when you ask me to. <laughs> po Whoops, that's not stuck down. That's a problem. Post challenge. So I don't forget. I always fucking forget. I am a forgetful ass motherfucker. Tweezers. Where are my tweezers? There's my tweezers. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yes, James, exactly that. Okay. Wednesday, what was I doing? Wednesday. Jesse's off. I need another, woohoo, yes, you keep doing that. Happy New Year. Let's do some layering. Layering's the only way I'm gonna get all these stickers on here. We have Happy New Year, and we have sparkling wine. And we have a Steve. We'll put all of these in one spot to get me more bang for my buck. Steve, wine, right here. Happy New Year. Yeah. Look at that. That's not too many stickers. Jesse. Off. Exclamation point. Drink my wine. Actually, it's my water. Let's, let's be honest. It's hydration. Okay. So I have nothing else on the schedule for that day. I'm going to come back to this and be like, what the fuck was I doing? I can't make that payment because they're not going to be open that day. So I need to use some more stickers up. Let's use some more stickers up. 2020 balloons can go right here. No, I hate that. I hate that. We'll do that right now. I hate that too. Here. Here we go. Right there. 
There we go. Stay. Stay. And then Happy New Year. We'll put that up here with something else. Maybe we'll put this I Hope To sticker. What do I hope to do this year? What do I hope to do? Put it here, but I gotta peel all these up. It's crooked? What's crooked? I don't even know what's crooked. I don't care what's crooked at this point. I'm peeling. My new nails are gonna be, my nose is so stuffed up. I am so nasal right now, I apologize in advance. I am snotty. Beat me up, snotty. It's because I am congested. I am congested. I have six dislikes on this video. Have you done your duty and liked this to go back against the six dislikes? Because God damn it, if they do not. The people who dislike my video hate fun. They hate fun. I hope to. Happy New Year. I can go there. What else am I going to put here? Three, two, one. Happy New Year. Three, two, one. Happy New Year. The crying probably didn't help. They're like, they also hate emotions. They hate emotions and they hate, they hate fun. That's scary. I don't want to do that. Where should this go? Happy New Year. 2020. Right there. And then we need one more. Is this one. A balloon? No. We need... A fireworks. Baby, you're a firework. Come and show them what you're worth. Make them go, uh, uh, uh. Let me shoot into the... Where to go? Uh, uh, uh. Danielle? What'd I miss? I missed something about Danielle. And I love... <clears throat> Where are you at? You're in the hospital? Oh, fuck, Danielle. I hope you're okay. Is it your kidneys? I lost a star. Because I didn't see you in the hangout earlier. And I want to make sure you're okay because I love you. Star here. And then we'll do a little streamer. I'm just trying to get rid of all these little doodly stickers because I know I'm going to need them. Who has a baby? Congrats on the new baby. Who has the baby? You're okay? Good. Congratulations. We'll do this little the guy like going bloop. And in honor of Danielle, that's a lot of stickers. I am feeling overly stickered. Okay. I hope to. Let's fill this out. What do I hope to do in 2020? I should fill this out at least a little bit. I hope to. I don't know. I don't know what I hope to do. I'm too drunk to figure this out. Maybe we'll fill this out later. We'll talk about this. We'll come back. Look at that. This one side of the planner is filled up, but the other side's not. Here we go. It's New Year's babies, my dudes. Cat was almost a New Year's baby. Cat was born on the 30th. You get like money or something if you're like the New Year's baby in your town, it, don't you? I think you do. I have not gone deep into this shit yet. Okay. It sounds like some shit that happens in Monopoly, but not real life. Right? Oh, God. What time is it? 409. Okay, we're good. Okay, I need a relaxed sticker. That's a good point, Jessica. You're always there for me. There's a relaxed sticker here. There it is. What else do I have on my list? I have, we do need to drop a DEF CON for the baby. A baby DEF CON. Stalin. Because every newborn baby deserves Stalin in their <laughs> I hope you have a good baby. Let's go kill the royal family now. Okay. Okay. 
Monday or Tuesday. I have to put it on Thursday, actually. I'm going to pay them on Thursday. So I'll put the payment on Thursday, plus Jesse has band practice, and I have to meal plan. I didn't put any work on Thursday because I probably know myself well enough to know that work is just going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. Now we're going to put Happy New Year on Thursday the 2nd because it's the new year. This is your year. It's for you. It's all for you, Damien. It's all for you. This is your year. And we'll put these 2020 goggles, beer goggles, because I'll be hungover. I probably won't be hungover. And a little balloon here. And a firework. Look at this. I'm almost done. It's because this was the... Uh, press sample and I didn't have the washi tapes. So I don't have all those stickers to go. It was a press sample. That's not where I want to put that. What's smaller than Stalin? You're just going to have to stick around and find out, aren't you? Find out who's lower than Stalin. And then we'll put this 2020 sticker here. I don't know if Kristen's still in here. Kristen might have pieced out. Kristen might have been like, fuck this shit. This is a fucking redonkulousness of redonkulous. Anyway. Okay, Thursday. Jesse has band practice. We'll use this one. It's his first band practice of 2020. And so we have to celebrate that. Although, this is grand news today. Jesse, one of its band members, became a grandpa today. His band member had, his kid had a fir their first kid. And so now one of Jesse's band members is a grandpa, which officially makes Jesse's band a grandpa rock band. They're a grandpa rock band. Right, Jesse? You're 33 and you're in a grandpa rock band. How does that make you feel? Emasculated on the internet. <laughs> it's okay. I think you're sexy. Maybe I've always wanted to have sex with somebody in a grandpa rock band. Maybe I have the hots for 80 year old ZZ Top. You said no one ever. <laughs> Jesse. I love you. I love you too at band. They're awesome. P.S. The Ordinary Sons are fucking amazing. And my husband is one of them. And the other three of them that are in it, the bass player and the singer and the drummer, are all awesome. And whether they're grandpas or not, they're fucking awesome. Abe's not a grandpa. He's young like you. He's, he's my age. Abe is my age. Patrick Stewart is hot. Ian McClellan in Cats said, meow, meow, meow. So, <laughs> most of Queen is Grandpa Rock. That's a good perspective, Jesse. Most of Queen is Grandpa Rock, except for Freddie Mercury and the extra percussionist. I hope that makes you feel better. <laughs> Okay, what else on Thursday? I don't think I had any. I need to leave it blank because we need something to put in here during plan as you go. I'm just saying. All right, I have to make that payment. Let's not forget that. Where's the money? There's a sticker with money on it. I know there is because I saw it. Oh, you mean Adam Lambert? Isn't Adam Lambert the current singer of, of, um, of, of you know, the thing, the queen? Yeah, Freddie Mercury's dead now, but Adam Lambert is is great. It's kind of like the uh, fake Steve Perry in Journey. He's fucking rad. He is like 99% Steve Perry. I know because I saw him in concert. Like 99% Steve Perry. I love Journey. I will watch Journey all day, every day. I am here for Journey. I am... Am I going to watch that new Picard series? I want you. Cat's Trip, Jessica, is in... Mm, mm, April? 
question mark? I was gonna say March, but I think it's April. Let me look, let me look at my Google calendar. Let's look, no, Google, that's not what I wanted. One, two, three, four, five, April. Uh, April, Cat's trip is in April. They're going to Hawaii for a tour. Bye, Jen, have fun at work. What am I doing, right, Pen here? Shanahan. But the tour payment is not until mid-month because they were like, fuck, dude, you guys had to pay for Christmas, so we're not gonna charge you hella money. Hell yeah. I love Journey. Journey is my shit. Journey is like the absolute shit. Okay. Like not the poopy shit, but like the fucking rad ass shit. Friday. I want to do a date night with Jesse. I have patron downloads. I have to schedule next week. I need to record the following week's podcast. And I need to do inbox zero. Lots of work on Friday. Only the beep, 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 beep. Okay. Where are we at? I need my paper. We're into a date night, I think, on Friday night. Jesse, do you hear me? What did I say? We're going to do a date night on Friday. Where are you going to take me? Wherever you want. That's not the answer I wanted. Where are you going to take me? A place you don't want to go to. That's not what I wanted either. What do, where are you going to take me? I wasn't paying that much attention. <laughs> I haven't seen The Mandalorian yet. We have Disney Plus, sort of. And so... We haven't watched it yet. I just want to see Baby Yoda because he's fucking cute. I don't give a fuck about Star Wars, but I give a fuck about cute Baby Yoda. So I'm just saying. Let's just let's just add it that way. I got no. We we're watching Disney Plus because I want to watch Return to Witch Mountain. What else did I watch recently? Oliver and Company. Yes, and The Little Mermaid, which makes me cry. Yeah, you no lie, awesome. Little Mermaid makes me cry. Can I explain why little, can I tell you guys why the little mermaid makes me cry? Can I give you the little mermaid 411 as to why it makes me cry? It makes me cry. There's two spots in the little mermaid where it makes me cry. Two spots. Shut up, Jesse. I can hear your sighing right now and I'm not here for your bullshit. Celebrate. Celebrate a date night where Jesse might get some wood. Not my wood. He's not that kind. Like, I might get some wood. If he got wood, that would not be how our relationship generally works. But I'm going to put a lovey Steve on there, too. All right. She puts a used toothbrush in her mouth. No, that's not why it makes me cry. <laughs> so, both. For one, Little Mermaid is my shit. I watched Little Mermaid, I think it was eight when it came out, and I saw it three times in the movie theater. It was the first movie I ever saw more than once in the movie theater, and I loved it. The scene in the beginning when you're watching the credits and they swim, and then you see King Triton's palace for the first time always makes me cry. I don't know why. It's just like, oh, you know, do, 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 do where the people are. Do, 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 penis castle is he here? That part makes me cry. The second part that makes me cry is at the end when she gets married and King Triton swims up to the ship and she hugs him and it's all the swelly music and she's like, I love you, daddy. And my sisters and I all, like they can, they can testify to this. We all cry because we're mad because our dad was fucking dead at our wedding and we're like, oh, you little shitty mermaid. You were like such a bitch and now your dad's here and he's at your wedding and she gets to love him. And my dad wasn't at my wedding and that sucked. And so sad. He wasn't at my first wedding or my second wedding because that would have been weird if he wasn't at my first wedding because he was dead but he was at my second wedding because he was resurrected that would be fucking strange but he wasn't there and so when king triton hugs her at her wedding and she says i love you daddy as an adult that makes me cry because i miss my dad now you know <sighs> date night <laughs> what was that look for jesse there was no look there was a look now I'm throwing you a look. What look are you throwing me? I'm lettering, so I can't look because I'm in the middle of a creative endeavor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I spoiled you, Susan. <laughs> the movie's like 30 years old. <sighs> okay, date night. What else did I have on Thursday? Look, I used almost all of these up. I only have three more left. I'm getting so close. 
My dad died in 2001, so it's like, it was a long ass fucking time ago. That's not what I wanted, this one. Which Thursday? Thursday, Thursday the 3rd. It's a Friday. Friday the 3rd, yeah. You're Thursday giving... I have band practice. Yeah, so I just want to make sure... Friday I'm night, you're taking trouble. me out yeah. on a date. To a place that you won't tell me again. I don't know where you're going to take me, but it's going to be delicious. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> my dad died in 2001 he died right after 9-11 uh, happened like two weeks after 9-11 happened okay here we go i'm sorry trish did oh i was gonna think you were saying trouble i thought you were saying sorry for a hot minute i was like did she sorry you because whenever rj gets sorry he like throws a fit and won't play anymore so we don't play sorry in this house anymore anyway friday patron downloads Schedule next week, record podcast. Those are all things that have to happen, especially record the podcast. So let's put that in the priorities section. Why don't we? Cheesecake Factory, that's in Walnut Creek. If Jesse wants to drive me to the Cheesecake Factory so I can have tiramisu cheesecake, I'm okay with that. But I think he's going to say, fuck you. <laughs> when? Friday the 3rd. It's in Walnut Creek. You know what else is in Walnut Creek? Yo mama. No, she's not. <laughs> it's not what I want. Okay, I'm gonna use this pink one. The French Laundry. I don't wanna eat there. They tell you what you have to eat. They're like, here's your servings. You pay $3,000 and you get to eat what we tell you to eat. And that's some raw bullshit. What if I want a French dip and the French Laundry doesn't do that because they're too hoity-toity. Fuck you. <laughs> I want to eat what I want to eat. <sighs> Put this right here to layer. What's the name of my podcast? The Uncurated Life. Record plus schedule. Yeah. No, they don't. Well, they give you, it's like a menu that's already figured out and you have to go and eat what they figured out. It's a pre, how you say it? Pricks fix? Pre, how you say that? Me, where's my little notepad? I'm going to spell it out for you. You can tell me how to spell it. Where's another pen? That's not the pen I want. This pen. Pre, pricks, fix. That, that's what it is. Okay. <laughs> okay, what else? There's podcast. Inbox zero and schedule next week. I haven't used like any of the stickers off of these other kits because I've been too busy. Too busy. Oh, I also have to pay myself. That was on this day. Payment. Wait, that was on this day. That was on this day. No, not that one. I want the other one. Where's the blue one? My nose is running. The green one. That's what I want. You know where I want to go for our date night, Jesse? I want to get sushi. Okay. I want to eat raw fish. I want to rub some fucking tuna all over my lips. Like this. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> There we go. Like this. <laughs> Prefixa. Thank you, Christina. Um, I'm like an hour from San Francisco. We're supposed to go to San Francisco in the following week to take the kids to Japantown. Or at least Jess Jesse's not going. I'm taking the kids. Relax. Jessica said I should put relax on Thursday. And Jessica is not wrong. So that should go down here as part. Of this. Cindy, I need mm -hmm. you to look over here right now. I'm looking. There's two kitties on your lap. 
Oh, hold on, hold on. We're going to show the whole internet this because this is amazing. Our two kitties who spend all their time fighting are both cuddled up on Jesse's lap because I gave him a robe that yeah, is like... this is like the magical bathrobe. I gave Jesse a robe that is like kitty fucking central for making muffins. Hold on, here we go. We're going to go see the kitties. Here we go. You ready? Here we go. Let's go look at the kitties. There's the Gorby and all that. <gasps> it's a lap of kitties. Look at that. Both kitties, they're not fighting. It's Loki and Lulu on Jesse's new bathrobe, which is his Christmas present. It's like a kitty fucking Mecca. And his new chair, which is amazing. I gave him that for Christmas too. Look at those kitties. Loki's like licking Lucy's anus, which is his favorite pastime. He loves licking Lucy's butthole. Lucy is getting big. Yeah. yeah. Lucy's very big. Anyway, let's go back to my desk. Let's go back to this situation. Oh, no. Goodbye, Loki. Bye, Loki. I'm sorry for disturbing you. You gonna come over here, Loki, Loki? Probably not. He's like, you're drunk, dude. I'm leaving you the fuck alone. Well, Loki was asleep, and then Lucy climbed <sighs> over him to find an open spot on my lap. All right. Orange boys. Oh, thank you for the super chat, Manda. She gave me a kitty super chat. Jessica said relax on Wednesday. Oops. Well, wait, it's on Wednesday. No, it's on Thursday. Well, I'm going to relax on Thursday, Jessica, because that's where I put the sticker. <laughs> oh, hey, Wimberly. Okay, where are we at? Two, when, Friday. Friday, that's the day. That's the day. Okay. Okay, let's see here. What do we got? Um, the downloads and scheduling next week. Those things needs to happen. Needs to happen. I don't even know what's happening anymore. <sighs> Yawning. <sighs> Maybe what I'll do is give myself a checklist on Friday because... because I'll likely have a lot of work to do on Friday because Jesse will have been off and because apparently I can't figure my shit out. So we'll put a checklist in on Friday and I will put on there, we'll add to it as plan as you go goes on, but um, inbox zero and schedule next week. And the downloads. There we go. Okay. Bye, Debbie. Have fun on your last night of Hanukkah. I don't know if fun is the right word for that, but whatever. Um, Saturday, I have to wash my sheets, and the book club is at 9 a.m., and that's all I have on Saturday, which is good, because I feel like we're going to probably try and do a house project on Saturday, but I don't know what it is yet, so I can't put that on here yet. So you have to stay tuned. Yes, you spy a new Fitbit. I should Fitbit friend you. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> <laughs> if you tell me how, I'll do it. I'll fit be a friend to everybody if I know how to do it. So I need to wash my sheets. I got a laundry sticker. Laundry. I've got a laundry sticker. Straight, run, run, run. Page. All I have is one more. Whoops. One more thing to do. One more sticker. So Saturday I have the book club and I have laundry. Do my sheets. Wash my sheets wash them because that is important. I love washing my sheets on the weekend because then they're clean and they smell good. They don't smell like old sweat and other secretions. They just smell like detergent and <laughs> fabric softener and I'm okay with that. Is it too late to join the book club? No. No, no, no. You were on chapter, we're starting chapter two this week. So you got plenty of time to catch up. Plenty of chat time. And then the book club live. I need a, a 
full half box for that. We'll use this like little, because if I use up all of these like super New Year's-y kind of ones, and that will make me feel better about like, we'll put this in the priority section because it is a priority. You guys are my priority and I love you. What time do I need to set the crock pot on Saturday? That's another thing I need to think about because it's beef with broccoli in the crock pot and I need to know what I'm doing. But I don't know what it is yet. And I think that's going to be tomorrow Cindy's problem. Because today Cindy does not give a shit. But look, I I did my challenge. Where'd it go? I lost it. I did all the stickers. I finished my challenge. They're all gone. So look at that. I'm fucking on top of things. It's not even Sunday yet. And I've got it. I've got it. Do I do Instant Pot? Yes. What is the coffee? But because it's 9 a.m. on a Saturday and I slept in hard today. So apparently I don't know how to get up on time on the weekends. Book club. Hey, Jess. Yeah. I love you. I love you. Did you know that you're my favorite husband? And I've had more than one husband, so I can say that and have it mean something. <laughs> You guys, I just want you to know that Jesse is such an enabler when it comes to all the random bullshit I do. He just looks at me like, fuck, dude, just do what you're going to do and we'll deal with it later. <laughs> like that guy, this guy is like a, he's, <laughs> he, uh, he is resigned is what he is <laughs> to his life. <laughs> book club okay what else am I going to put there I'm going to put something else there I have the coffee I have the coffee maybe we'll put this little no but we'll take this little planner I think and put it for plan as you go right here yeah plan as you go whoops that's too close I have the kindle app on my iphone to read Every once in a while, I have a book that, like, I really just want to get the Kindle of because I really want to read it. I think it started when I read The Stepford Wives, and I didn't want to wait for the book to show up. Because I'm normally like a... We'll use this pen. I'm normally like a... Like a... Um, no, we won't use that pen. <sighs> no, we're good. No, we're not good. Oh, no. My snottiness. We'll use this happy guy because I love talking to you guys. It makes me happy. What's for supper tonight? We're going to door dash something because I have no fucks to give. Uh-oh. I'm Hold feeling on. the habit burger night. <coughs> Salute. Yeah, I told you I was going to sneeze. <sighs> there we go. Steve can go there. Oh. <laughs> okay. And then on Sunday, where's my list? I like physical books, but I really wanted to reread The Step for Wives, and so I read it on Kindle, and that's why I have the Kindle app. I have, so we have Patron Hangout and the live plan with me, and potentially the kids are going to be back, but I don't know. So the grocery shopping is going to have to happen, actually. Matter of fact, that should go on Saturday. I should probably do some grocery shopping for the week, because whether the kids are back on Sunday or Monday, it'll be... Less of a hassle if I just fucking take care of it. If I just get it over with, then it will be less than a pain in my actual ass. So we'll use this car. And we'll put it here. And... Um, my on Goodreads? Um, I think so, but not really. <laughs> like, I think I have an account, but I haven't logged into it in a hundred years. So the live plan with me and the patron hangout happened on Sunday. And that is, I'll put the hangout on under priorities. That's not the right color. I want, me, 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 me. I might want to DoorDash now. And we got some time. 
We're not super hungry. I ate my sandwich earlier and I just didn't finish it. We'll use this. Blah, 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 blah. What am I going to use? I'm going to use. I'm going to use. I'm going to use. Blah, 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 blah. Here we go. We'll use this little heart because I love talking to my patrons right here. Patron hangout, 1.30 p.m. And then we have live plan with me. Okay, what do we got? We got blue, green, pink. We'll do blue. So this is for next Sunday's live plan with me, and maybe we'll put... Uh... Get it done. Right here. Oops, come on, come on. There we go. Get it done. And we'll throw those washi tapes on here as well. Live. There we go, live plan with me. And I think that's everything for my week. Let's look at this. Yeah, I don't have a list on here yet because I haven't figured that shit out yet. This too, there's too much going on in my life to know that. But look at that, I used all of my celebrations collection page. That's this page. And some of the stickers from the kit. And look at that, isn't it lovely? It's so beautiful. It's beautiful in so many ways. I have not used a vertical life planner in so long, so it's gonna be an interesting month when I try and use this every week. Because I don't have a kit for every week. Some of these weeks I'm just gonna be figuring this shit out, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you had a good time. We never got to DEF CON. I guess we'll go to DEF CON Lennon. DEF CON Lennon is right here because he's going to also want a morning routine. So use the big clock sticker. Which one? This one? Oh, I do need to use this, don't I? There's a couple of these stickers that are like 2020 only. So the big clock sticker is going to go on Saturday because I don't think I'm going to be doing very much on Saturday. I'm just saying that now. That's crooked. God damn it. Put the big clock sticker here. And is there any other stickers in this kit that are like this week specific? Because the rest of these colors I can totally use at a bunch of different times because I love these colors. But we have, we have, we have Be More Awesome than last year. That's fine. The 2021, both of these two, but this one could probably wait for a week. But this 2021 needs to happen somewhere. And I don't think it has a, maybe we'll put it here. No, we'll save that one. That one, no, well, maybe. Actually, it's this one that needs, because these two that say 2020 can be used probably any time in January and have it not be a big deal. But this one that says 2020 and 31 probably should be used. So we'll use this one. Yeah. We'll use this one. We'll put it right here. I'm excited about using the vertical. And I feel like it's because it's been so long since I've used this that it's gonna help re, does that crooked? I don't care. Is that it's gonna reinvigorate my um, love of like, my love of creative planning because it's been so long since I've done it this way. Yeah, I should have hit Lennon a long time ago. You're right, Pamela. Well, he's here now. Look at him, where's he at? Lennon. <laughs> with his like little breast coat. Uh, 
And I kind of want to put one on Sunday too. Hold on. We'll do this Be More Awesome than last year. We'll put this one on Sunday. And if I have more shit to do on Sunday, I can always peel it off. But hold on. What? Come on. Put this one here. Actually, yeah, you're right. The 2020 one, because then I can write on it if I need to write on it. That is a good idea. There we go. Look at that. Here we go. Now we're all good. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to take off. I hope you had a good time. I hope hanging out with me while I got drunk and planned out my week. You're going to get to see more of this throughout this week when I start Plan As You Go later this week. I said a week a whole bunch of times. That sounded awkward. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. There will be another video before Plan As You Go, but Plan As You Go officially kicks off on Monday the 1st. So make sure you're subscribed, notifications. Please like this video. I already have six dislikes on it, and those are for people who don't like fun or having a good relationship with your husband. Apparently they don't like that and that's why they dislike this video. So make sure you like it if you like good relationships with my husband or <laughs> having fun or Stalin. All of those things. Like it. Like it now. Dislike. <laughs> I never ask for likes. I never ask for likes except on live plan with me because I'm narcissistic and I can see them happen in real time. You got to like this video and we're going to get to 100,000 subscribers in 2020. How? Fuck if I know, but it's going to happen. God damn it. Gorbachev and I are going to see it through. Tell your friends. Hide your friends. Hide your wives. We'll see you guys in 2020. Hasta la vista, babies. And kitten self-pleasure. Yes, that too.